Hi, this is Shay Jackson with Hype Educational Specialists, and today we're going to be going over a fourth grade math problem. It's problem number three on the Star Release Test 2011. As always, before we begin a problem on Star, we always want to draw our four panes. The four points are what am I looking for? Then I'm going to figure out what answers I can eliminate. The third thing is what strategy or plan will I use to solve the problem? And the fourth is how to work out the problem. So let's get started. The question says, during one basketball game, Sarah's team scored 11 baskets worth two points each and three baskets worth one point each. Daniel's team scored eight baskets worth two points each and 10 baskets worth one point each. What was the final score? So I want to go ahead and I want to put up my four panes so that I can get started solving using my strategies to solve the problem. What am I looking for? The question says what was the final score so that's what I'm going to put in my top left hand pane. What was the final score? Second, I'm going to figure out or try to see what answers I can eliminate. In this problem, we can eliminate any answers right now. However, whenever you're working out a problem, even though you may not be able to eliminate a problem at the beginning, as you work out the problem, as you figure out your strategy, always go back to see what answers you can eliminate. The strategy I'm going to use is I'm going to multiply the number of baskets times whatever points there were. Again, I'm going the strategy I'm going to use is multiplying the number of baskets times their points. So the first problem we're going to work out is Sarah's team. In the problem, which is highlighted in yellow, it says Sarah's team scored 11 baskets worth two points each and three baskets worth one point each. So what I'm going to have to do first is multiply 11 baskets times two points. 11 times two is equal to 22. So that's 22 points. Then her team scored three baskets worth one point each. Three times one is equal to three points. I'm not finished because now I have to add those points together. That's 22 points plus three points is equal to 25 points. That was a multi-step problem. I had to multiply um, two baskets based on their points once I got those answers, I had to add it together. Now I'm going to go and look and see if there's any answer choices I can eliminate once I know what Sarah's team points are. And there are. I can eliminate C and D because both says that Sarah's team made 22 points, which is incorrect. And you can take a look at the fact that sometimes in assessments, they know that students will only look at solve one problem and then try to figure out what those points are or figure out what their answers are before doing the whole total problem. And if you'll take a look, 22 points is correct, but they also made other points as well. So remember, you have to work out the problem totally before you start eliminating problems. And on this one, we were able to see that Sarah's team made 25 points and we eliminated C and D. Now let's look at Daniel's team. Daniel's team scored eight baskets for two points each. Eight times two is 16 and his team scored 10 baskets worth one point. 10 times one is equal to 10. 
I have to add those together. That's 16 plus 10 is equal to 26 points. I can eliminate A because we know what Daniel's team, the total amount of points Daniel's team made, which is 26 points. That's all for question number three, fourth grade math.